Hey everybody, Dr. Sketch here. I just turned this tote and this 80 millimeter computer fan into a hydro fogger. Check that shit out. Tell me I can't make some fucking humidity in that room now, huh? This is only a nine disc model. And uh, I bought a tote just like this one the other day off of Amazon. And it was like almost 40 bucks and my my wife got this one for like 10 bucks down at Wally World. So I got an extra tote, but hey, that's okay. That's badass, man. It's fogging me out here. <laughs> Dr. Sketch has got it going on. So let's take a look inside here. That's what you get. You drop that thing down into the black float. There's nine ultrasonic discs in that that vibrate or make noise that you can't hear. And that's what produces the uh, mist. It's five micron or finer mist. And I'm gonna put some chimneys on that. I'll get some three inch, uh, probably water line or some kind of pipe from True Value. And uh, yeah, I'll make chimneys about a foot tall and then I'll angle them a little bit 45 degree holy crap now it comes with this transducer this fan speed controller the fan everything you saw inside there and you get in case those little discs on that ultrasonic humidifier wear out you get nine replacement discs I thought it was pretty cool. This was from uh, John at the House of Hydro. He really hooked me up. Let's see. Where is it? Inkbird. Oh, there we are. House of Hydro. Ultrasonic Mist Maker User Guide. Now, I got an Inkbird Humidistat, which is sitting in here. Look at that thing running merrily away, man. This is what will control it this thing here this is called an inkbird humidistat and I will plug that transducer into this and set it for right where I want it which is about 50% humidity now you can plug both a uh, humidifier and a dehumidifier in here so if you want you can bring it up or down hell I'm happy as a homo at a penis tree here this works. Now I only spent about 300 bucks on all this and I had to get this big three inch hole saw that I didn't have. I think an inch and a half or two inches was the biggest one I had. So I had to pick this bad boy up just to drill the holes in the top of it. But I got an extra tote lid. They sent me an extra lid for some reason. Now, I was thinking I was going to make chimneys out of that, but it's too small. Anyways, I'm going to get this in that bud room and hook it up to the ink bird and get it going. But I just wanted to share this with y'all. Homemade, do-it-yourself humidifier, a fogger. And as you've seen, it works just fine. I'm pretty sure that'll keep the uh, rooms at 50% or so. So anyways, y'all have a great Friday night. Have a great weekend if you're going to protest. No looting, raping, or pillaging. And uh, we'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching Sketch TV.